What's up guys, LQ here with the LQ Review. Thank you so much for joining me here at my YouTube channel. This is where I talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that I love to talk about. Movies, video games, comic books, and TV shows. And right now, I'm going to talk about Tulsa King Season 2, Episode 4. And there's a pattern in Season 2 of the Tulsa King. Where good episode, not so good episode. Good episode, not so good episode. So here we are on episode four, and it's not really my favorite episode. Um, not that it's bad. You know, I was locked in the whole time, engaged, enjoying it. Um, but it is definitely weaker than episode three and weaker than episode one. Um, this was, again, a very much a setup episode, setting up some more characters, developing some more characters, and not that that's, not that any of that's a bad thing. In fact, those are all good things. But when it comes to big things that are happening, I feel like nothing real big happened in this episode. Just they set up things to lead to big things happening. Um, this was the road trip episode. We get, um, we get Dwight and Tyson and Bodie. We get them taking a road trip um, to, to, purchase some wind farms, um, working uh, with uh, one of the Native American communities to, to secure the rights to the wind farm, finding out that Thresher um, is trying to outbid them for the wind farm, information that he got from Armand. Um, and this is the Dwight gets high on weed lollipop episodes <laughs> episode it was just kind of a, a, a weird a weird road trippy episode um that just like i said felt like there was a lot of setup happening here um, we know that Bodie is very angry with dwight for putting him in danger again but of course Bodie continues to go along with it uh we get a scene where tyson um, steps up and becomes a bit of a, a bit of a leader in the group and what I liked about that was you could see the admiration that Dwight had for Tyson as Tyson was taking control of the troops and that is the kind of character development that I actually love to see is characters growing in a very natural way and how people react to that growth uh, so that was a very nice scene that I thought uh, I thought um, we see another interaction with Armand and Thresher and Thresher comes and he says, uh, comes to the ranch and he says, I'm actually looking for you. Here's some more money. I was just thinking about your family. Here's some more money. If Armand is buying this, <laughs> how, how can he not be, be expecting strings to be attached with this kind of treatment you know he's got to know that a big ask is coming just like us audience members know we know that a big ask is coming a big betrayal is coming where thresher is going to ask armand to betray dwight um, we know it's coming and um whether or not Armand sees that is going to really be the deciding factor on whether Armand ends up being a um a, a really likable character in this show um because i just I can't see, I can't see him not, not seeing it. Of course we get, you know, some, some chess piece moves being, being played by Chicky and Frank Grillo, um, Frank Grillo's character, but ultimately nothing really comes of it in this episode. We just see conversations happening and, and moves or the intent of moves being made. Again, overall, this was an episode that while I enjoyed it, and while it's probably going to end up being, while I'm sure it gave us information that we're going to need moving forward, I didn't feel like there was anything here that I had to, that I had to have right now. The ending was nice, you know, the ending um, on Thresher's property where the uh, the the Asian boss kills the uh, kills the the people who were ca caught stealing. I thought that that sets up a really interesting conflict where there's another player in town uh, and this guy's going to end up being a major player and will it end up even being a scenario where Dwight and Thresher might have to align? I don't know, but it's definitely another interesting piece that they're introducing to the game board now. So like I said, interesting stuff happening here, probably important stuff, but I just didn't feel like the episode had anything huge happen in it. 
And because of that, it just didn't feel as important as episode one or episode three. So, again, I liked it. I've liked all of them. I just think episode two and four so far have been the weaker two episodes. That's my take on it. Let me know what you thought of Tulsa King Season 2 Episode 4 in the comments down below. While you're down there commenting, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.